Hey everybody, Travel Dog here, and we are off today to the British Museum. And we're looking forward to hopefully seeing some kind of uh, sort of Egyptian stuff, uh, things like that, whatever else is there. Fingers crossed they'll let me film with the GoPro in the um, British Museum. And this is the first GoPro outing for uh, Travel Dog. So let's see how the GoPro uh, works today on this mission. Um, okay, everybody, so we're just wandering through Wimbledon, heading off down to the station. Here we are at the station, waiting for the train to take us into London. And we're going to get a bus to get us to um, uh, Waterloo. I mean, uh, to the uh, British Museum. Here we are in the train, galloping on the way to London Waterloo. Kind of really dirty window. Got to Vauxhall now. Wandering through Waterloo Station off to find the bus. In the bus, on the way. So we just got off the bus near Bloomsbury Square, Bloomsbury Place. Um, and now just wandering down here. British Museum should be uh, on the right in a minute, but it's a lovely square. Look at that lovely square. Bloomsbury Square. I'm not sure I get run over while doing that. Look at it. Nice square. Nice and pretty. So here we are, guys. We've got to the British Museum. I'm just coming up to it now. Over there in the distance, you can see it. Watch out, because these guys on the mopeds are nice over. Oh, they might do, actually. Right, here we go. Great Russell Square. That is Officially, actually, Camden. Right, all these nice little restaurants lurking around here as well. Right, so we're literally just about to go through the gates into the British Museum here. And uh, fingers crossed our books, tickets will let us in okay, even though we're probably late. There we go, wandering around this. Oh, they're rebuilding it or something. Right, here we go, here's the entrance. Nice, there we go. It's cool, doesn't it? Funky. Let's head in. Ooh, we've got some nuts. Caramelised peanuts and almonds if you're hungry. Yeah? Here we are, finally wandering into the place after the security check. Oh, let me show it to you. Here you go. But it's cool, doesn't it? It's a funky place, the British Museum. Look at that. Nice. Big. Kind of cool. Right. Oh, let's head in there. It's a nice funky bit of London here, isn't it? Right, let's wander in. Uh, I think we've got some tickets somewhere now, I think. Nope. into this centre bit here because it looks really good this bit. Oh look lovely staircases there. Look at that beautiful sort of crazy sculpture things. And this is this really funky bit here and you've got a massive kind of huge crazy kind of atrium. Look at that. Mad atrium place. It's really cool. Let's look at that in ultra super wide. Okay, everybody, got an ultra super mega wide so you can get the full vibe of this crazy place. But yeah, super cool. Right, let's wander around. We're going to go and find the Egyptian stuff. Yeah, let's just wander around here for a bit, see what's around here. Yeah, let's get a map. Map. Uh, here's a map. So we're going to go off to a free talk in a minute in room 64 somewhere. There's all sorts of free talks on different things, such as uh, in here you've got talks on, you can see them there, Japan, Roman Britain, ancient Greece, all sorts of stuff. So uh, here's the shop. That's quite nice. This hopper side thing, that's one of their current uh, exhibitions. Like sort of um. It's so weird. I thought this was a hard map. So that's quite cool. 
but yeah, all right, 10 times back dogs. There you go, travel dog. Jesus. Just found this really cool book on llamas. Look at that, amazing. I feel like a llama we got at home. Here's the cafe down here in the crazy uh, open section. Yeah, these are, I think these are, um, what are they? They must be like totem pole, I'm guessing. Ooh, view, look at that. House Frontal Pole Hider, British Columbia, Canada. Wait, are they meant to be that tall? Yeah, I think so. Right. That's just where it's meant to be. Look at it. How do you like the people in, in a... Uh, the front of the That scary bridge up there. Right, so here we are. Wandering through the Egyptian section, which is frankly pretty cool. And we've got big, lovely head up there. Oh, wow. Funky. No. It's an Egyptian sculpture. 2686 BC to AD Ancient Egyptian civilization lasted for over 3,000 years. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, and that's the Rosetta Stone that he's looking at over there. Funky. Let's go and have a look at the Rosetta Stone. We can get through the crowds of people. There it is. It's the writing of ancient Egypt. Oh, actually, this must be the back of the Rosetta Stone. Can I just see it? What's it look like around the front? Here we go, that's better. Oh yeah, look, freaky. You can see all the little writing on it. Cool. There you go. It's quite buried in there, isn't it? It's looking good. Oh, I see. So as soon as the Rosetta Stone was discovered, scholars realised it might help decipher mysterious ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics. Since the Greek inscription which people read, stated that each of the stone recorded the same decree. Brilliant these heads, aren't they? Look at that. Sculpture of King Thutmose III, a rare example of an Egyptian temple sculpture. The face seems to be mangled. Huh? The head is completely gone here. Oh, look at these two people sitting over here. Oh, God, it's amazing what the boat last year. Look at these two, this is General Khorem Het and his wife. It's like a reflection on the bronze here, but you can still see them pretty well. Oh, beautifully done. This is the head of King Thutmose IV. Look at all these crazy things as you wander on down here, all these different sculptures. Big pillars down there as well. You know, it's got this really big one here. That's a really good one. Really. Massive one there. More stones, more things here. Yeah. Statue of Roy. Oh, Roy. Check him out. Oh man, there's a goat. Look at that goat. The rest of its head on the fair. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. Look at that goat, man. What a stunning goat. This is a sarcophagus of Merry Moon. Look at it. You see, you've got this wing spreading detail on the inside of it. Right down here into the face. Look at that. On the shadow of man. So cool. This is a statue of Tutankhamun. Pretty cool. Mm. 
you got these kind of crazy um, hieroglyphic bits over here as well. Beautiful this sculpture, look at absolutely amazing colours that go down. Stunning all that colourations within the stain. Oh look, and then at the bottom we've got a little hieroglyph there. That's the statue of Prince Heimwasser. Oh man, look at this one. Kneeling statue of Panacy. Look at that, amazing. Not only that, but you've got like this little weird section at the bottom. Look at that section at the bottom. I'm not sure what this thing, maybe this is where you This is the inside of the sarcophagus? I don't know. Anyway, you got all that mad like um, her drawing on it. around the inside, so cool, oh look, you've got a crazy drawing on this as well, look at that, that's so cool. Temporal Relief of Con, what's all Con the second one? There's lovely columns as well, brilliant. Here we go, wandering up 72 steps to try and get to room 64, where this uh, talk on Egypt's gonna be. Crazy mosaics all around the uh, staircase. <laughs> members room. I don't know what the members room is. <sighs> so here's these um, uh, mummies of sacred bulls. Kind of cool. Actually, 30 BC, so quite a long time later than you might have thought. Oh, what a crazy face on that, man. Brilliant, crazy face. That seems to be like a, a carpet. We're upstairs now in the other Egyptian bit where it's really dark. I guess the stuff doesn't get mangled by the light. It makes it less easy to see what's going on. It's quite interesting you can see how painted things were because all these um, sculptures and things would really have been painted brightly coloured back in the day. And of course, we always see them now as uncolored so that actually we see how they would look. This is the AD100. Oh AD100 this is, but look at that amazing face. Absolutely amazing. Very much sort of Roman painting. Got loads of amazingly painted mummy. Um, what are these uh, sort of sarcophaguses, sarcophaguses, coffins? Sometimes the lights go away. So look, you've got masses of them all the way down this wall. Very amazing. Cartage mummy cases. Down there as well. These ones are really cool here. Yeah. This reminds me of play people. Toys I used to have and the drawings on them. Drawings are absolutely amazing actually. They're so kind of straightforward detail, really rather really beautiful. It's stunning drawings. All the drawings you have these days are so complicated. These are actually really simplistic but kind of beautiful in their simplicity. Oh wow, look at these crazy heads. Mars and plaster faces. And you've got portrait panels of the Roman period. They look much more Roman these days. <laughs> so the tour we wanted to see isn't happening. Um, not that it was any obvious thing about that and, uh, until we got there and waited and nothing happened apparently the tours just don't always happen so if there is a tour you see on the thing you need to check on the information desk or ring up beforehand to find out if it's actually going to take place um, so that's probably worth remembering before you turn up and wait for the tour
Oh, cool Sphinx though, look at that. Yeah, that it's Sphinx of Tahahol. I'm not entirely sure if the Sphinx is an animal or a shape. Look at these brilliant little um, Have you ever seen that sign, Dad? Sort of things on the wall. Hello, this little bear. That one's been removed for study. So oh, cool. All oh, these fantastic little things, are they? Oh, science concert ambulance. Oh, there's ambulance. Fascinating. It's absolutely massive here, so many things. You just can't you can spend hours looking at it all basically. Trying to understand what it all is. Egypt and Sudan, this is. All these crazy things. These little sort of um, jugs or vases. I love all these simple little drawings on like the crockery, like those little animals and this little animal here. Just so simple but beautiful, all these decorated pieces. Look at this, look at that falcon headed sphinx. Absolutely brilliant, man. Oh, there's a pair of them. No, there's two. There's this one, just chilling here, waiting to find its friend. Look at this crazy person with a goat. That is so cool, man. Loving it. We've got this amazing knife here with loads of different animals and scripted on the edge of it. And there's a fantastic little um, uh, scorpion down there. Got these like crazy little boat models there. Over here you've got these kind of really cool like uh, mummies, some of them done in the Roman period, that's why they've got those paintings on them. They're really cool, these things. Quite amazing. That one you can actually see the body. Yeah, that one you can see the body, which is a bit freaky, right? But um incredibly straight hands. And you got that really nice gold one below. These gold ones are really cool. Look at that. Oh the lights are like that. But uh Pretty funky, mad, giant, gold um, sarcophagus from the Theban necropolis in the New Kingdom. Yeah. Right, again, you've got a lovely little picture stuff on yeah. these things. And you go over here and you've got more extraordinary little sculptures in there. I love that guy, he's always big. <laughs> it's really cool. Oh, look at that mad sort of goat with its arms out in the air. Would have been holding something. Nice. Got a full on mummy bonanza at this spot. Masses of them. Sorry, sarcophagus bonanza even. Look at it. Check out the sarcophagus bonanza. Brilliant. I love these little drawings. They are just so cool. They've got loads of these scarab beetles. Well, what's that film where they have the scarab beetles attacking them? The mummy, yeah, lots of scarab beetles, it's like the mummy. Very mummy like here. Yeah. So cool. Look at all around the sides of the uh, sarcophagus as well. We've still got all the imagery and the pictures. The lovely drawing. Look at the inside of that one, amazing. Ah, oh, thanks. So cool. Burial group of the priest Hornigitev. Look at that brilliant, big, dark sarcophagus in the background. And the big golden eyes peering out of it. Absolutely fantastic. And down there you've got this kind of golden one with the yeah, beautiful designs on it. Oh man, even designs. Yeah, the detail on that. And the designs inside. Oh my god. Yeah, all of this golden detail on that sarcophagus. Check out this. Yeah? Go on. A sphinx is a monster with the head of a woman, a bird's wing, and the body of a lion, and sometimes a serpent's tail. Nice. 
In Greek mythology, the Sphinx was a monster with a head of a woman, a bird's wings, the body of a lion, or for a serpent tail. Oh, the Sphinxes of Egypt were symbols of royal power. This is a female Sphinx. Oh, cool. And over here is a massive scarab beetle if you're into the mummy. Look at that scarab beetle. Just imagine that chasing me down the corridor. So cool. All these mad columns. We're back downstairs again now after we are not to room 64 for the talk that didn't happen. This cat is brilliant. With its golden earrings, gold nose rings. Just such a super cool cat. Look at it. Absolutely fantastic. It's even got little decorations on its sort of collar. These amazing creatures come from northern Iraq. Look at them. Oh, massive. Look at them. Stunning beasts galloping around the world. Right. Where are we going? I think this is more Egyptian sculpture. Huh? A massive head. Oh man, look at this. Oh, look at that one. That's cool. Look at this cat. The goddess Sekhmet. Full on cat look. Look at this massive head here. Oh, look at those four little friends of the goddess Sekhmet. Yeah, it's a weird cat thing going on here. Look at this massive head. This head is so cool. Look at that. Like this one funky head, man. Check it out. Look at that staring at me. It'd be quite freaky. Look at this guy here. That's massive, that head. Really funky. Oh man, look, there's another marching guy, more pillars. Quite like a marching guy. Really cool. Nice. This is the arm of the big dude. Check it out, you actually see a fist down here. His arm is absolutely mental. Look at it. There you go, there's the fist. That belongs to the big dude. Nice one. Quite interesting the statues, it does seem to have its like original or some of its original paint on it. They're the same, obviously these things have been painted ages ago, so you never quite see them as you you would have done. It's quite interesting to see them in that red colour. And this little guy here lurking in the doorway. Check him out, nice. Full stall. Seems to be all these false doors around here. Okay. Right, I really like this bit here. When you're coming into the Parthenon galleries, and I guess it's maybe a bit more Roman, I think. But uh, I think this sculpture's stunning. Cool sculpture, and you've got all these other fantastic sculptures around here. Look, more massive sort of horse people. The Palace of Sagan. Some of these bits are closed at the moment. Let's head around to these Parthenon sculptures anyway. We're roaming. Oh, look at these bits. They're so cool. These bits like down there. Massive sort of replicas of stuff. And then we come in here. This, I think this is one of my favourite bits. This sort of Parthenon gallery. I'll have a look at this other bit first. And look at it. It's so cool. It's kind of a recreation of a Roman temple. Absolutely mental. these mad headless dancing statues just so cool completely insane Look at the mad cloth clothing flying around on them just so cool. look at that mad dancing look at that little foot at the back flipping out and all these bits here look at them 
crazy dancing statues. So cool. Right, strolling into the Parthenon galleries, but look, absolutely massive in here. Insanely huge room. Look at it. Absolutely gigantic. This is amazing. I love the Parthenon. Uh, so look, this is literally like a sort of freeze going all the way down. I'm not actually sure if this is a replica, if this is real. But it's one of the most remarkable achievements in ancient Greek art. 60 riders are shown on both the north and south side of the frieze. They commemorate the true life cavalry created by the statesman Hercules when he increased the numbers of the horsemen of the Athenian army to 1,000. Just got a little stroll down this frieze because it was just so cool. Look at it, absolutely mad. Look at all the crazy different riders and crazy horses. It's madness. How cool it is as you walk down there. I think this must be a record because I think the real thing is actually in Germany, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, strolling on. So cool. And we've got these mad bits at the end. And it's just such a mental, mental building. And then the freeze goes all the way back down there, and then all the way back down to the other end of the room. Absolutely magnificent, mad room. In horse's head, look at it. Look at its teeth. Fine horse. Godfather. <laughs> Godfather. Godfather. A Godfather horse moment there. Look at that. This room is just so insane. As you look around, all these mad things in it. Just brilliant. Just brilliant. Gone extra super mega wide just to do a bit of this sloping sort of sculpture thing goes around here to show you a bit more of the room as it goes all the way back down there which is so cool let's stroll through this room all super mega wide look at it it's just insane it almost looks like there's water in the center of it look at the mad freeze going on around you and all these depictions of people it's such an amazing room So cool, that's where we just came from. And this is where we're going on down here. Down to the other end. I think they all, it all fits together. It all fits together as one freeze. A story. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, you know, it's, it's a long, horizontal sort of sculpture. Yeah, it's like a comic book. Exactly like the comic book. And it's exactly what it is. Come on down here, to the end of it here, we've got more crazy torsos and sculptures. So cool. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that, magnificent. Sort of wide-angled, curved thing. Stunning. You look back there, the whole thing is in. Brilliant. Hey everybody, so we've wandered around the Egyptian section and now we're going to go up these steps and wander over the. Uh, wander, oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, Walks in somebody. Uh, wander over the Death Bridge, which is up here. It's kind of quite a fun uh, climb up this bit here. So let's go and have a look. Okay, everybody, so we're going to wander up these uh, steps, which are kind of funky here. Up to the um, oh, oh, sorry, turn it around. Not these big wide ones, but these wide ones here. Let's wander up these crazy steps to the Death Bridge. Come on, en route to the Death Bridge. You know, sort of tiger thing over there. Such a cool design, this place. Look at it. Look at that mad ceiling. If it is a ceiling, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it was like beforehand. I think it's always been kind of just been open to the elements. Come on, it must have been. Covered somehow. Anyway, no, it's obviously covered by this sort of mad ceiling out of um, whatever, like out of the matrix or something cool. 
quite wandering around this bit here. It's kind of funky. I'll let you can see back to the Egyptian section down there where we were early. Kind of funky. That's the Peru exhibition. Looks quite fun to go into. You have to pay for that one. Right, let's wander up these tiny steps here towards the Death Bridge section. So I don't know what level this gets us up to, but anyway, we're still wandering up. So, oh my god, it's actually quite high up here. I feel quite freaky. Over the edge. Actually, I feel really weird now. Everybody, we've got a sort of full on death drop. Death drop over there. Don't know why I wanted to come up here after all that. Right, there's a sort of restaurant up there as well. And then you've got the death bridge. Man alive. Why did I want to go around this death bridge? A oh, funky place to have tea. Right. Nice, see through death bridge. Let's get through this as quickly as humanly possible. The rest of them are just chilling out while the death bridge is out there. Here we come, I'm waiting for them to get to the death bridge. Some people are just chilling on the death bridge. Yes. I'll wait for everybody. And let's go for the death bridge freaks me out. The death bridge freaks me out. Death bridge. Over the death bridge. Right. We made it over the death bridge. Okay. Kind of freaky. Look at that. Oh, it's just kind of completely see through. The death bridge. Everybody else is chilling on the death bridge. I find the death bridge kind of scary, frankly. And now we are in ancient Mesopotamia. Nice. And here's a harp with the head of a bull that we found in the Mesopotamian section. And here's a kind of cool little sort of um, freeze thing. The Queen of the Night, an ancient Mesopotamian goddess. Very cool. And we wander on down here. I think there's a kind of um, funky kind of wall or something down here. It looks like there's a wall at the end. Let's get on down to this wall, see what happens. Oh, cool, funky lion, look at him. Mm. Yeah, we do. Such a funky lion, nice. Oh yeah. Blue house. Oh, cool lion. Come on, we look around here. Oh, cool tablet. Yeah, when we were learning, we tried to do. Oh, that tablet. Nice, another tablet over there. Cool. People galloping up and down ladders in this tablet. What shadows the uh, and cool shadows the uh, sofa is in. Oh, I'm going up down the lights. Nice. Really, really good. Alright. Let's keep going on down here. And here we go to this sort of wall at the end, which looks funky. Not sure if we're still in Mesopotamia or not. Maybe this is Anatolia Uradu. I'm not entirely sure what Urati is. Oh. Hi, intriguing. Ancient Anatolia and Urati lie where Europe, Asia and the Middle East meet. Intriguing. And we come around here. And look at that cool wall and I think we're going to go home. So, let's have a look at it. Nice. Funky, look at that. Oh, look how much big this place is. That's Iran down there. Yeah. Look, there's even more of it. It is absolutely huge, the British Museum. Just masses of it. Look at that pierced sculpture, a bit like Barbara Hepworth pierced sculpture. Slightly obsessed with how these things relate to uh, you know, a modernist sculpture with the piercings in them. Oh man, a lion attacking a bull. Oh, look at that lion. That lion really is attacking a bull. Why is it flipped around? That's so cool. Right, if anybody knows what that is, tell me. What is it? It looks like a massive sort of stamping thing for stamping stuff. Oh, and over here, 
is a rather good iron. Look at that iron. Isn't that brilliant? Unfortunately, it's not actually an iron. It's actually a lion weight. So if it was an iron, it would be a lion iron. <laughs> it would be magnificent. This statue, instead of holding a baby, is holding a very small man. It's kind of freaky. How cool is that? We're just wandering through all these bits of um, British Museum, all these other bits on the way out, because we've really only done the uh, uh, Egyptian thing bit today, but there's masses more of it, masses and masses more of it everywhere you look. There's a million and one other things to stare at. Um, but, well, shutting apart from anything, so we've got to go. Okay guys, terrifying death view from here. We're just going to peer at the death view. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. It's not like you're going to push it. I'm not going to push it. Just, just feel the pieces, you know. Why? Anyway, amazing view. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody. We're just leaving the uh, British Museum now. Had a great time here, mainly looking at the ancient Egyptian stuff. There's masses of other stuff here to look at. Anyway, um, we're heading out now, and it's got darker in here. Well, they've just turned off the lights. This place is shut. Anyway, like and subscribe to Travel Dog to my other channel, arttop10.com. Au revoir, Hadarfis. See you soon.